Hello everyone, greetings from Toronto, Canada. My home is no longer Turkey, it is Canada. I hope one day I will be accepted into the Canadian Space Agency. It's my dream. Anyways, welcome to another video, another historical tour. This playlist is going to be updated today. As you know, I am trying to connect historical events with space stuff, so that's why I created this playlist. So anyways, there were many innovative scientists and historical leaders throughout history and out of these innovators, there were people who made innovation out of astronomy by looking at the skies. In this video, I'll be talking about the three innovators or the legends of astronomy. Galileo Galilei, Nicolaus Copernicus, and Johannes Kepler. There are of course many other astronomers that made a change throughout the history like Tycho Brach, he's a Danish astronomer that made observations on comets and even Isaac Newton, Albert Einstein, Aristotle, etc. were big innovators studying the cosmos but Copernicus, Galileo and Kepler are the astronomers that are known the most and they are mainly astronomers while Newton and Einstein were mainly physicists. So that the chronological order can follow, let's start with Nicolaus Copernicus, the first father of modern astronomy. Nicolaus Copernicus was born on February 19th, 1473 in Torun, Royal Prussia in today's Poland and died on May 24th, 1543 in today's Poland. It was actually like 10 days ago. I wish we remembered his death anniversary. He was a Renaissance polymath, which means he had plenty of different careers. He was an astronomer, mathematician, physician, scholar, diplomat, governor, Catholic canon, and an economist. Nicholas Copernicus was, no shocker, the beginner of the Copernican Revolution. The Copernican Revolution was an astronomical revolution that supported that the Earth was moving around the Sun, not vice versa, basically heliocentrism. Heliocentrism is basically a movement supporting the Earth moving around the Sun. A contributor to this was Aristarchus of Samos. In his works, he also stated stuff like the Earth isn't the center of the universe, but it is the center of the lunar sphere, the distance of the sun from the earth is very long, etc. And he also is known for the quantity theory of money, which states that the general price level of goods and services is directly proportional to the amount of money supply. Something about economy and stuff, you know, you can research about it, because this is average astronomy fan, not average economy fan. Now, anyways, so Copernicus was an important figure in the scientific revolution. He took the thought of heliocentrism to the next level, and he became the father of modern astronomy with starting the Copernican revolution. And there are basically a lot of other stuff we can talk about Copernicus. I mean, he's considered as the father of modern astronomy. So in every video's description, I am putting sources. You can go there and research more about him. There is also another father of modern astronomy too, which is Galileo Galilei. Galileo Galilei was an Italian astronomer, physicist, mathematician, engineer, and philosopher born on February 15, 1564 in Pisa, Italy and died on January 8, 1642 in Arcredi, Italy. He is known for discovering three quarters of the solar system. He has discovered Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. He was the first to use a telescope in 1609 with a telescope invented by Hans Lippershey in 1608. So he discovered the planets between 1609 and 1610 while also discovering the surroundings of the gas giant Jupiter. He has discovered its moons Io, Ganymede, Castillo, and Europa, and he has made the telescopic proof of the phases of Venus. And of course, his most important discovery proved that the Earth revolves around Sun. Like Copernicus, basically, he was contributing to the Copernican Revolution. 
Even though Copernicus's idea of heliocentrism developed the flow of the scientific and astronomical knowledge, the administration governed by scholastic thought did not allow it, and it was rejected by the churches. And that's a false fact. Yeah, usually in schools, it is told to us that Galileo got punished by the church because of heliocentrism, but Copernicus also thought about heliocentrism before, and the church even accepted heliocentrism. The main reason Galileo had a lifetime house arrest was saying that the Bible says what is good and, and right, but it only educates us morally, and for science, we have to look to nature and make observations and with saying this, Galileo Galilei has broken the most important rule. Commenting on the Bible is the church's job. If you read the Hunchback of Notre Dame, you would know that churches back then weren't really in a good shape. There was an oppressive system of the Catholic Church. At some point, the church was going to burn Galileo, but then they gave him lifetime house arrest. Galileo may have been punished by the Catholic Church and in the rest of his life he may have been sad, but he went on to become an important figure in science that even the Catholic Church today is respecting. Another important figure is Johannes Kepler. Johannes Kepler was a German astronomer, mathematician, astrologer. Yes, people, during that time, astrology was considered a science. Natural philosopher and writer on music. He was born on December 27th, 1571 in the Weildarstadt, Holy Roman Empire, today's Germany, and died on November 15th, 1630 in Regensburg, Germany. Now you have heard a lot of ex exoplanets named after Kepler, like Kepler 22b. The discoverer of these exoplanets is the Kepler Space Telescope, named after Johannes Kepler. Johannes Kepler's main work was the laws of planetary motion. The three laws of planetary motion are number one, planets move in orbits shaped like an ellipse. Number two, a line between a planet and the sun covers equal areas in equal times. And number three, how long a planet takes to go around the sun is related to the radius of the planet's orbit. Isaac Newton was influenced by Johannes Kepler and while coming up with the law of gravity, he stated that masses attract to each other with a force proportional to the square of the distance between them. Newton used the laws of gravity and motion to obtain Kepler's planetary motion laws and to show that planetary motions could be explained using math and physics. Alright, so this is the conclusion of the video and trust me I have only talked about three astronomers in this video there are other scientists who have put an effort in astronomy like Tycho Brahe, Isaac Newton, Albert Einstein, Stephen Hawking, Edwin Hubble etc. Basically every single scientist and historical figure who has done good to this world deserves respect in my opinion. I hope you have learned about the people who actually have discovered things about the universe, how brilliant they are, and how they change the knowledge of the outside worlds. Again, you can research more by looking at the sources in the description. And I hope you like this video, and you have probably seen my channel banner, it's cool, and I am planning to make a Google website based on my channel, but it's a plan. Anyways, stay astronomical.